have more of a. I'm fine with staff. I'm in support of it. So I, I think it's very not very often that we have people, three, four, five people actually that I've heard from who are in favor of this. And I, I haven't heard any opposition, but I know this is the first time we've really talked about it publicly. And to me, to get public input, you start putting stuff together and make that determination. But if five residents come to me, I mean, that doesn't happen very often. Well, I, th I, I, I have to me, to me this, I didn't have any negative. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. So to me, it, it, it's it's not just a sustainable farming issue. I think it's also a I think it's also a, a, a issue of property rights. I think that indiv if individuals want to have a, that want to do something, have that use on their property, but you've got to control that use, and and the setbacks are very very critical in that. And some lots are going to be too small, just plain and simple, too small to be allowed to have, you know, livestock. Or so. any kind of chicken, so you know it, it's gonna it's gonna solve itself. But you're only gonna have larger lots that are even gonna qualify with setbacks. So, so what are we? What is the direction we're giving money? I'd like Larry. To we know you're against for no. consensus, just to have a uh, uh, a staff approval process in place with a clearly defined set of parameters that would be eligible, and also mm -hmm. part of that being a property inspection. That would be what my that's what my directive would be. And I don't know if there's three more people that feel the same way or not. Yep. Anybody else agree with he? Maybe as a. Does as any Does anybody besides Larry agree with he? No, I don't agree with he. But uh, uh, <laughs> Christy, do you agree with he? But I would I like to make a point. Right now, I I think we need to put a policy in place. And I, listen, I'll I'll go for the special um, use permit if I have to. But it I would say if people meet the regulations. So if you're saying don't. policy, you're saying ordinance. I think there would have to be. Ordinance. I'm good with an ordinance. Yeah, I'm fine. That's three. If people want to <laughs> have sustainable food supplies, the first thing the city should t instruct them on is the amount of feed that it takes to produce one pound of, of meat for a chicken. Mm. I mean, it's it's about. But it's their decision. It's Not about feed. six times the amount of, of grain that they can produce in their garden for the same pound of food. So. Well, that's that's. <laughs> That's got to be self-education. This is uh, urban farming is do-it-yourself uh, mm -hmm. proposition. Uh, personal responsibility and all that. So we're looking for some kind of ordinance, uh, preferably that addresses the chickens and urban gardens. Gardens and and I would I would say you know look for something that setback. Yeah, that, that covers setbacks, but also see what 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 the other people are in surrounding communities are using, and and see if it's. If, I mean, if you've got something that that you want to bring back to council that you think will work, great. Actually, it'd probably even be better to run it. You might want to run it for planning commission, uh, but or if you think it needs a work session, we can schedule that later. But. We'll leave it in your, Let me ask your hands. Thing. Is that enough information? Let me ask one more thing I think will help, though. I don't believe that there should be roosters. I think it should be roosters. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So that, no rooster ban. Rooster ban. No breeding. Is that enough, Mike? Did you get started? Okay. Just step two. Thank you. Sure. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Good evening, all. We're done.